Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick shop tour video 2019. This will be real quick. I'll come back to that grinder in a minute. This is where all the magic happens. A couple knives on the bench right now. Dykemed out. Got a set of liners here. I just finished roughing these out. You can get a little better light for you there. There you go, roughed out, be ready for a glue up. Some of the knives that were made, the original ones on the top, not bad, a little, little rough. And then some of the more finished ones there. I think everybody kind of wants to get to a point and I got to that point with these knives where when I started making these, and those are stainless, that I said, every knife, I'm going to just make it the best that I can. And again, I'm, I'm very far from where I want to be ultimately, but every build gets better, right? So, good lighting, you got to have it. Buffer. And then I also have some uh, Scotch-Brite wheels and a grinder there, all these belts. I just made some of these racks again, and this is in anticipation of a 2x72 that I have coming. Okay, shop vac, compressor, and this is a garage, guys, that it does double duty, right? My tractor, some different things. Here's my second bench across the other side, knife vise. Uh, for shaping uh, handles, final finishing and sanding, um, pretty much anything else you need. Great vice right there. Uh, there's the jigs, a bunch of them made here, ready to go. Pack up as orders come in. That is a makeshift Kydex press. Just the uh, boards, a couple pieces of foam, put it in there. There is the rivet setter, drill, hand drill. The other things, drill press, it's the Harbor Freight drill press, and a Harbor Freight bandsaw that I know a lot of you guys have, along with the swag um, stand, awesome, awesome stand. I built a, um, that little bench myself there just to put something on it. A bunch of jig bodies made up and ready to go here. Again, more lighting. Safety, protective gear, got to have it. Okay, eyewear, goggles. Been to the doctor a few times <laughs> with uh, little shards or something in the eye and uh, grit or whatever it might be. So definitely want to take care there. Going along with that, there's the mask, 3M mask, hearing protection. And underneath that, to keep a little bit of the dust off it, is a um, Honeywell full face mask, anti-glare protective whole thing um, definitely worth it okay so to get back to these belts I actually gonna try to get rid of this grinder if I can if not you know it's not a big deal I'll keep it as a spare all these belts because I do have a 2x72 coming uh, with a motor and VFD actually let me try to keep this video a little short but I'll get up over here show you in the box waiting for the electrician is my k back and underneath it in the box you can't see it but there's a motor so i just wanted to give you guys a quick tour i know there's you know only have one video up that i had do want to try to make some more as i'm uh going here do want to try to Progress with the knives, getting better. And this one, again, dykemed up, taped off where I want to keep my grind. It is heat treated. This is the one right here. I did post a couple pics of it on Instagram. There you go. The swedge is just 90% finished. Once I get the scales on, then I'll put a final polish. Uh, certainly my maker's mark ahead of time. Uh, let me show you one other thing before we end this video. Talking about the maker's mark reminded me. This is my 
etcher that I have to put my maker's mark. Um, I found this thing online. It was a great deal. It's AC-DC power, uh, you know, with the plugs. Plugs it in here. I just made my homemade head, just a felt wrapped around a brass bolt on there. You plug it in, 30 seconds. Puts a great mark on the knives um, with my stencil. You guys have seen the maker's mark. So anyway, that's a quick shop tour and I will hopefully have some other videos and other builds coming up. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Thanks.